hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and thank you for joining in and watching my videos um now let's quickly cover gmt okay because yesterday i told you that how gmt is trying to in my viewpoint um go about it uh, people who haven't watched yesterday's video you could go back i'll just quickly summarize it this is the support line what i believe for gmt and this is the resistance line okay so uh, GMT made this a beautiful ascending triangle. We broke towards the upside. It had a price target uh, to the upside and you can see it went and achieved it. This was, I believe, an overextension for uh, you know a GMT coin. Now, every time you can see with uh, GMT in the four hourly time frame, every time it gets out of this resistance line, it comes back in so and finds a support level for itself, okay? and uh, now let's quickly cover um, what happened yesterday okay because yesterday i told you that we had this uh, resistance line okay and i told you if we couldn't break this resistance you know wherever you want to place it like that but i believe it was more accurate this way okay because you can see uh, i told you this was taking a form of a bearish pattern um, and it was a, it wasn't completed at that point but i was a uh, pretty um, you know about 90 percent correct that it was taking a, a form of a bearish head and shoulder pattern but if if it would have broken this uh, resistance line the price would have gone up hit this line came down then we would have had this beautiful ascending triangle formation just like we did over here okay but unfortunately what happened is it broke the uh it broke the support line and i told you if people who watched this video till the end yesterday they know exactly that uh you know there was if it broke the support line obviously you can go back in history and see how this coin is working out uh, with this resistance you can see it got resistance here okay and it came down it got uh, broke it it went up okay it broke it to it, the, now it's support for the price okay it broke it down it broke the resistance came down resistance so you know over here now that how important this area of uh, connection was for the price okay it broke down now you have to uh, agree with this that it has broken this was a uh, support line the price is going to come down now another thing that is it's trying to hold support at this low over here okay you have to be very careful when i say this this is uh, acting as a support okay now why is it doing that okay because if you bring a fibonacci uh, right over here uh actually not over here right over here okay this previous run it had you can see the 0 0.618 level is sitting at two dollars and 21 cents which is the golden pocket for this uh previous run towards the upside okay so now it's trying to come and find support at one two three times okay now if you see the 0 0.618 getting broken it's gonna come and fall down to 0 0.786 level okay so be ready and that's it's at two dollars and um, one cent okay so if it breaks the 0 0.618 level it's gonna come and settle down at 0 0.786 okay now uh this is a bearish pattern okay and it made this bearish head and shoulder pattern okay bearish head and shoulder patterns have price targets towards the towards the downside so you can see <clears throat> it's trying to get to these levels now the one dollar 71 cents level i'm not saying it's gonna exactly get there but those are the targets okay if you go back in history now and just to verify this claim <clears throat> People who don't know about, tar uh, you know, how these targets are, you know, you can just take this target right over here because this was uh, in a form of a uh, bearish head and shoulder. As soon as you broke this uh, area of resistance, okay, you can see the price rally towards the upside, and this was the price target. It almost met it, went a little bit above because of the fear of missing out, then came back down, and then we had this price target, okay this price target of the ascending triangle and then it broke went towards the upside and you can see we were heading exactly at this resistance and this is i guess the fear of missing out now that's why it's taking a form of a bearish <clears throat> bearish head and shoulder pattern and this is a price target now i don't know exactly where it's gonna go but 
we can always judge it by making patterns <clears throat> somehow you can go to the one hourly time frame and you can just bring the resistance line just place it right over here uh, I'm just gonna drag it all the way over here just to be extra safe and then bring this and place it over here okay now I'll just place it right over here actually I think this makes more sense I'm just gonna take this off and you can see now that it is gonna take a shape of this it's it's working out to go in this manner in my viewpoint okay now <clears throat> wherever the you know because you can see at the moment even with this pattern here is taking a shape of a descending triangle okay look one two three descending triangle formation okay so even if it breaks towards the downside now okay, wherever the breakout is gonna be so you you know it's coming out towards 188 towards these lows and i told you that now it's gonna every move is gonna make until or unless it makes a reversal pattern somewhere over here and you have to judge that by looking at the pattern so now look at this the price target of this is about 164 okay and you can see when we judged this in the fibonacci right over here you saw whether the 0 0.786 is setting as two dollars and eight cents and this price target is setting at one dollar and 88 cents so basically if this gets broken down there's a chance the price can come and hit this low over here okay so keep this in mind but i believe that is gonna work in this channel formation okay now if you see this support getting broken then you can just move a little bit okay wherever you get the most touches and you can clearly see the price is how beautifully it's coming down in this formation right now it's trying to hold this as soon as this gets broken wherever the breakout point is usually you judge this price target at the apex and you can see it's coming right over here okay so Maybe it's going to co go a little bit further and then have this breakout. If it breaks towards the upside, this is a um, bearish pattern. They usually break towards the downside. But let's say if it breaks towards the upside, then you could bring this price target, place it anywhere on this resistance line, and that's your that's your price target, okay? If it breaks out right from here, you can see it's going to go and hit this resistance level, okay? Uh, so, yeah, guys, <clears throat> excuse me, this is it. I hope this brought you some new information. If you like this kind of content, you want me to keep making it and you're liking the, this analysis for GMT, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If I get enough likes, I tend to keep making videos for um, your favorite coin. Okay, thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.